Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about creation of Azure database for MariaDB using Azure portal. So here on the screen, you can see the official documentation page by Microsoft for Azure database for MariaDB. This is the documentation and under the quick starts, we have create DB and the first option is through portal. What is Azure? MariaDB, it is a managed service which can be used to run, manage and scale highly available MariaDB databases in the cloud, in Azure cloud. This quick start will show you how we can create this DB server in about five minutes by using portal. Here the steps are given. We have to sign in to our portal, Azure portal, and then the creation steps are shown, which we are going to demonstrate in this video. So let's quickly go to the Azure portal. This is the Azure portal and we will click on create a resource. We'll search for Maria DB. Here we have Azure database for Maria DB. We'll click over it. We'll click on create. Here comes the configuration through portal. First is the basics tab where project related details are shown first. That is the subscription. Choose your subscription. Then the resource group where you want to create the database. Then the server details, server name. Let's name it as CK Maria DB server. Data source, none or backup. If you have an existing backup of Maria DB, you can select that. We will leave it as none. Location, East US. So it is showing us that this service is not available in this location for our subscription. So we will change it to East US too. So yeah, this has no error. We'll select it as East US too. Version, let this be 10.3, the latest version. Compute and storage. It's by default showing us general purpose. We can click on configure server and we can change here the compute tier. Okay, it's by default general purpose for very light compute and IO performance. We can select basic. It is giving us monthly cost of 25,000. But since it is for demo purpose, we can select basic tier. If we select general purpose, it will show us the VCO, storage size, storage, auto growth options are shown here. Then backup, backup retention period is shown and redundancy. So we'll make it to basic and you can see here the price has considerably reduced. Now the V cores are two storage size is shown as 50 GB. We can even reduce it. So the cost also reduces storage auto growth is checked in retention period and redundancy. We will leave it as locally redundant. We leave the backup retention period as default and backup redundancy also LRS. We'll apply this change. This looks fine. So compute and storage is done. Administrator account, username and password we have to give. So we'll write it as CK Maria TV. We'll give the password to it. Next, we'll click on tags. If we have any tags, we can add. Next, review and create. So here it will show us the estimated cost per month, then the terms and the configuration details. Looks fine. We'll click on create. It's validating here. Initializing the deployment. Submitting deployment. Deployment is in progress. We'll wait until the database is available to us. Here under the notification, we can see that the deployment is in progress. The deployment shows as complete now. We'll click on go to resource. Here also we got the notification deployment succeeded. And this will open up CK MariaDB. That is the database for MariaDB in Azure. First page overview page where the details of this MariaDB is given. On the right side, we have the server name ckmariadb.mariadb.database.azure.com. 
admin login name which we have given ckmariadb at the rate ckmariadb server version etc okay so we have created the server it is at start state hence we could see here the stop button at the top now next step is if we go to the official documentation we have created the server next step is to configure a server firewall rule okay so if we want to configure server firewall rule we have to go to connection security in the connection security under the firewall rules we have to add the ip range of the clients that will connect to this server and why do we need to add this firewall rule i will tell you in some time so we'll configure this firewall rule later so we'll first go to connect to this database mariadb by using mysql command line and to connect it through mysql command line we'll use azure cloud shell okay so we'll go back here we have this first icon at the top side as cloud shell so we'll try to connect to this database through cloud shell let's first try to duplicate this tab we'll duplicate the tab and we'll open cloud shell it will open up this black screen so no storage is mounted we'll create a storage for this cloud shell the storage created it is connected requesting a cloud shell it is succeeded it is connecting to the terminal at the top left side we could see bash is selected okay now a message will come welcome to azure cloud shell okay we are in the cloud shell let's go back to the official documentation we have to open this it will show up this page of welcome then we have to write this command okay at the cloud shell prompt we have to connect to the database server mariadb server using mysql utility and this is the command we'll copy the command open notepad plus plus or notepad we'll paste the command and we have to give here host name mysql hyphen hyphen host what is the host name for our server it is if we go to the first tab the server name copy the server name paste it here then user server admin login user name at the rate server name okay so we'll copy the server admin login user name we'll paste here and then password which we will give directly when we'll execute this command so we'll copy this command we'll go back to the cloud shell and here we'll paste this command okay we'll now click enter it will ask for password so give the password of the mariadb server which we have given while creation of this server now error came client with ip address is not allowed to connect to this mysql server why we are getting this error because the firewall rule or the setting is not done for this ip so we'll go back to the official documentation back to this configure a server firewall rule then we'll set the rule here in the connection security let's go back and here under the settings we have the tab connection and security we'll open this from the server page it will open up the firewall rules and the ssl settings okay here we have allow access to azure services as no we'll click it as yes and we'll add our current ip and click on save at the top right side we can see it is updating the connection security settings in the notification we could see let this be updated successfully and then we'll again try to execute the command through cloud shell successfully updated the connection security settings okay we'll go now we'll go back here in the second tab and we'll click on the upper arrow for the previous command to display and then click enter again we'll try to give the server password and this time we could see that it is connected mysql connection id is shown server version is shown and now mysql prompt also so after enabling the ip we could access the mariadb server through cloud shell let's go back here in the documentation so we did this step successfully and the output we have got as mysql output 
Then next is the status. To verify the connection, enter status at the MySQL prompt to check the server status. Let's write status here in the cloud shell and it will give us the status of the MariaDB server. So here we can see the details of the MariaDB server and its current status, whether it is stop or on. So since the server is, if we go to the overview section, it is started. So we could see here the details. Okay. If we, and if we go here and stop MariaDB server, it will stop us. Server will automatically be started after seven days if we do not perform any manual start operation. So we want to manually stop the server. It's stopping the server. Let's wait for it to stop. Server stopped. If we go back to the cloud shell and now write status command, we will see that there is no connection. MySQL server is currently stopped. Okay. We'll go back to the documentation. Then we have create a blank database at the MySQL prompt by creating the following command. We'll copy this and we'll go back here. And first we'll start the server, MariaDB server, and then we'll execute the create database. We'll create the database using cloud shell command and then we'll try to view to. Server successfully started. We'll go back here. We'll write status. Yeah, it's connected and we'll write the command and we'll paste the command create database quick start db okay so it has created the database and now the next command show data basis it will show up the database which we have created quick start db and the other three inbuilt databases information schema mysql and performance schema okay let's go back next section is to connect to the server using mysql workbench so if you have watched already the MySQL Azure database for flexible server videos, we had connected to those server MySQL server using MySQL Workbench. And in this video also, we are going to connect to MariaDB server using MySQL Workbench. So here the connection is we have to open MySQL Workbench. If you have not installed it, kindly download it from this link. And then we have to set up the connection for the server. So let's open MySQL Workbench. This is the welcome page of MySQL Workbench and here is the button to create new connection, set up new connection. Let's name this as Maria DB host name. Okay. In the host name, we have to give the server details. So we'll go back here. We'll copy the server name. We'll paste it here and then username. Username will be the server admin login name. Copy it, paste here. Okay. Port will be 3306. We'll click on test connection. It will ask us the password. Give the password. Click OK. A connection warning will come. Continue anyway. Then it will say successfully made the MySQL connection. Click OK. Click OK. And here we can see MariaDB connection is established. We'll double click over it. We'll try to open it. Now it's opening the SQL editor. Again, the warning, warning will come. Just continue anyway. So at the top, we can see MariaDB is connected. And the quick start DB, which we have created through cloud shell command. And currently there are no tables in it. Here we can create the tables using MySQL workbench or through cloud shell. If we go to the official documentation, here the connection settings are given to connect it through MySQL workbench. If the connection is successful, we are good to go with the database that is the MariaDB. So hope you have understood how we can create MariaDB server in Azure, how we can connect to it using Azure Cloud Shell commands and then through MySQL Workbench. 
Do try it out and let me know if you face any issue. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Bye.